Just a perfect day Drink sangria in the park And then later when it gets dark We go home Just a perfect day Feed animals in the zoo And then later a movie too And then home Oh it's such a perfect day I'm glad I spent it with you Such a perfect day You just keep Just keep me hanging on Hey, Drew here from LearnGuitarInLondon.com I'm playing Perfect Day by the late and great Lou Reed Absolutely brilliant, brilliant song Forever immortalised in the OD scene in Trainspotting um, And I, what I've got here is I've got a finger-picked interpretation of it um, obviously the whole thing itself is actually played on piano, uh, so the guitar doesn't altogether cross over well with all the little jazzy licks that are going on there in the song. So I've just kept it nice and simple, especially good if you want to sing it at the same time as well. Um, and also just great if you want to work on your finger picking, uh, finger picking some open chords and just chucking in the odd little bar chord here and there. Um, especially if you've been playing a little bit longer, um, just to keep you on your toes. <laughs> okay, so this song is going to be in two parts. Uh, to get the second part, uh, you just need to pop on over to my website. It's all completely free. Uh, you just need to join the student area. All it takes is an email address. Anyway, for now, let's have a look at the left hand and see what we're going to do with this one. One thing I forgot to mention on this uh, this lesson is that if you do want it to sound like the original, if you want to play along to the original recording, then you're going to need to put a capo on the first fret. Um, I thought it sounded great without a capo. Um, you may want to exp experiment with putting the capo higher if you don't have such a low voice as what Lou Reed does. So let's get started. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be finger picking chords and Depending on the chord, it's going to change our starting note with our thumb, okay? So with an A minor, for example, we strum the bottom five strings, so it means the bass note is going to be the first string that we strum, as it always is for every chord. So that'll be A minor. E, we strum all six, so the bass note will be here. So the pattern on this hand is this, so it's thumb, index, middle, ring, middle, index. Now we're going to start on an E chord, index finger on the first fret on the G, middle finger on the second fret on the A, and ring finger the third fret on the D. If you don't know the names of the strings, Eddie A dynamite, goodbye Eddie E A D G B E. And we're going to start by picking that E, thumb, index, middle, ring, middle, index. We're going to change to A minor. Really easy change from here, you just move these fingers down. First fret on the B, second fret on the D, third fret on the G. Thumb, index, middle, ring, middle, index. Okay? So that's your beginning of the song. No singing. We then do A minor when the singing starts. Just a perfect day. Okay, we then change to a D. Index on the second fret on the G string. Middle finger on the second fret on the E string. And ring finger on the third fret on the B string. For a D, we normally we always strum the bottom four, so we're starting here on the D string with our thumb. Okay, we're then going to change to a G of sorts. So from this D here, the quickest way to do this is lift everything up and leave that finger there. Take your little pinky, put it down underneath, so you've got this little locked unit, and then take the middle finger and pop it on the second, on the third fret, also on the thickest string. And for this chord, we'd strum all six, so it's a G of sorts. We're gonna go thumb on the thickest string. And that's the same pattern. Then 
we're going to change to a C chord. C, index on the first fret on the B, middle finger on the second fret on the D, ring finger on the third fret on the A. Once again, for a C chord, we start on the bottom five, so we'll be starting here with our thumb. Then, the F chord. Okay, so, take our index finger, we're going to do a little mini bar F, we're going to press down really hard, so a bar means pressing down two strings at the same time. So we're going to press down really hard, thumb round the back of the guitar, not up over the top or you won't stand a chance, and pinch these two strings. Okay, so pinch them together, lots of pressure. Middle finger on the second fret on the D, on, on the G, sorry, and ring finger on the third fret on the, on the D string. For this chord, we strum the bottom four, like we do with D, so it's thumb. And we're going to change to a D minor from there. It's not a bad change actually. You just move this index finger down to the first fret, a middle finger on the second fret on the G, and ring finger here on the third fret. So actually, that middle finger doesn't move from F to D minor. Okay? And then, yep, so here we go with D minor. Because it's a D chord, you just on the bottom four, so it's D string here. And then back to E. E twice. So let's go through that nice and slowly. That's your order, your chord progression for the verse. So it starts on E, sorry. repeat that going into the next verse. So now we're going to go into the chorus. Now the chorus I'm going to bring in a bit of strumming. So I always pretend like I'm holding a plectrum whenever I'm strumming if I don't have one to hand and obviously because we're finger picking we're not going to have time to pick one up. So I use this fingernail here to strum down. You may want to use your thumb, some people prefer that but I prefer using my fingernail. So we're going to make an A chord now Okay, so that's all on the second fret, D, G, and B string, all on the second fret. Try to use your little finger for your A chord, it helps strengthen it, make it stronger. And we're going to go A. And the rhythm, I'd like you to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So just little accents, louder hits on the 1 and the 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then you're going to change to D. Then you've got your first bar chord, or your first full bar chord. So we're going to take the index finger, we're going to slide it up to the fourth fret, press down the bottom five strings on there, okay? Nice and hard. Then we're going to make an A minor shape. So middle finger on the, on the fifth fret on the B string, ring finger on the sixth fret on the D, and finally pinky on the uh, sixth fret also, so it's locked underneath. So your change would be, we're going to be going from D, just watch my fingers, so I'm going flat finger, slide up, middle, lock these together in a little, that's it, just like that, okay? Cool. And we're going to strum that. And I spin it with. Then we're going to go to D. So we're going to go D and it goes D, 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 D. So let's see what that is. So it's D, open D string. Pinky spare going onto the fourth fret on the A string. Then going index that spare, we have to lift up the D, second fret on the A string, and then A. So it's D, D, C sharp, B, A. So let's take you through that. So once we've done that, dun, 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 it's A to E, easy enough change. Then you just keep me hanging on. So it's another bar chord. We're going to bar all the strings on the second fret. Then we're going to get our ring and our pinky on the A and the D string. 
and we're going to hit that just half bar, so that means three hits, one, two, three, then we're going to change to E, nice easy change, move these fingers down and put your middle finger down, so don't do this E as you know it, go to this one, because it's just easier from a bar chord, because this is an E shape, so, it's, so F sharp minor, so barring here, these two down, not the middle finger down, E, then D, back to our regular six hits. So it's F sharp minor, E, D, F sharp minor, E, D. Thanks very much for watching my Perfect Day video. If you have any of your own requests and songs that you'd really like to learn, then uh, just leave a comment below. Um, and I will have a listen and I'll get back to you if I really, really like the tune. The sort of stuff that I like is acoustic, kind of finger picking, slightly chilled out. I, I don't mind a little bit of rock here and there, but I quite, quite like teaching sort of um, finger picked and strummed acoustic style sort of music. So if you've got anything like that you want to learn, just, just let me know. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And um, as I've also mentioned, to get the second part of this video, you need to go to my website. I've included a link down here at the moment. You can just click on that. Um, and you sign up to the student area. It's all completely free. Just takes an email address. And then you can get exclusive tips on um, learning the guitar and there's exclusive videos there um, and there's I think there's we're bordering on about 100 video lessons now over at the Learn Guitar in London website which is fantastic. Um, that's everything thanks very much for watching have a perfect day hope that's not too cheesy bye